In today's lesson, you're going to learn how to slay Riff by Mighty Riff, Mount Abraxas by Uncle Acid and the Deadbeats. What's going on? My name is Jared and thank you so much for checking out this video. Let's get right into it. We are in C sharp standard tuning. So grab your axe, tune down and let's do this. First couple measures of riff number one happening all on the second string, seventh fret and really establishes the groove. Towards the end of the second measure, we're gonna do a hammer on from five back up to seven. Here we go. Second half of the riff, we're gonna start on the same seventh fret, we're gonna walk up to the ninth fret and eventually back down to the 10th fret on the, on the third string. From there, we go down to the eighth fret, third string, and we're going to do the full power chord arpeggio. That's eight, 10, 10. Slide out of it. Here's the first four measures, riff number one, all put together. play riff number one four times before the vocals come in. The first two times are identical. So the last two times we play riff number one, changes it slightly, goes like this. Riff number two comes in during the verse and we're sticking to the same area of the fretboard. Starts on the same note. It's gonna be mostly on the seventh fret, ends with hammer-ons from five to seven on the third and second string. Second part of the riff is similar to riff number one. I'll play it nice and slow. Just switches the ending. Goes eight, seven, eight, eight. We play the riff all throughout the entire first verse. Um, I'm gonna play it twice around just so you can get a feel for it. Number three comes in at a minute 29 seconds and is played during the kind of first chorus. The riff starts out with the fourth string open and comes immediately to the ninth fret on the third string. Slides down to seven. From there we go three, five, seven. Here's the first two measures. Next half of the riff starts exactly the same way, but we're gonna end on the third fret, third string. Here's those two parts put together.
Riff number four is played during the bridge and is really more of an extension of riff number three. Starts at measure 72 in the tab. Going to be down here, third fret, third string. Going to come up, play the octave on the fifth fret, uh, first string. You play that first and second finger. Then we go down to the second fret. Third fret, low string. Then we do a hammer on three up to five. Here's the full thing. So good. Really sets up the next part. Before we get into the next riff, just want to take a moment to thank the Beholden to the Riff Patreon community. Your support means the world to me and makes all these videos happen. Thank you so much. Riff number five comes in at two minutes, 48 seconds and gets nice and heavy. Gonna be starts on the low string open, then we're gonna hammer on from five to seven on the third string. We add some some low chugs on the on the low string. From there we walk up seven, nine, ten. Then we walk back down nine, seven, five. Here's what we got so far. Next half of the riff starts exactly the same. Walks up again to the 10th fret. Finishes 12th fret. We play that riff a few times before heading into another section of the song. So here's that riff a couple times, nice and slow. Um, they do throw in this 9th fret on the second string every once in a while. Riff number six comes in at three minutes, 22 seconds. We're going to be on the high string in the higher frets. We got nine. 11 and 12. Walks up, walks down. Then comes down to the second string, seventh fret. Every once in a while, throws in a little fill on the first string, basically slides up from seven to nine. And that brings us to the massive outro riff. So cool. Uh, they just jammed this thing when I saw them live. They just extended the solo. They must have just, I don't know, 10 minutes of just this part. It was awesome. The riff starts out with an open third string and then seven, five, seven on the second string. Does the same notes, just a different pattern. Then does the same thing as the first measure. Then we're going to land on the tritone here, sixth fret of the third string. Walk down to the fifth fret, down to the third fret. Here it is nice and slow.
I'm going to play this riff a few times at full speed. Thank you so much for checking out the video. If you dug the lesson, I highly encourage you to subscribe to the channel, like the video. YouTube loves that stuff. And then they show it to more people who love Uncle Acid, just like we do. So thanks again, and we'll see you in the next one.